Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we're on episode four of Learning WordPress. On this video, I'm going to show you how to format your text in your WordPress blog posts. And I'm going to go just over formatting in this video because there's quite a bit to go over in posting. And I don't want to, you know, for I don't want to make this video 10 minutes long. Uh, in the next video, we'll go over more advanced features. So first thing I want to do is log into your dashboard. As you can see right here, I'm already logged into my dashboard. I'm going to click my drop down here under posts, and here you can click add new. Now I'm going to click posts click post, because I already created a post for this video. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And the most important thing, one of the most important things of your post is to put a very descriptive title here. Now this title should be not only descriptive of what you're talking about, but it should also tell the reader but it should also be what the reader may type into Google to find your content. So if you're talking about something about how to do something, or if I'm telling you what I'm doing right here, this is a test WordPress post from PC Michiana, when you read it, you know exactly what it is that this post is. Do you see what I mean? So you want to have a very good description. Now once you've done that, make sure that this permalink, this is a link that will actually show up on your URL bar, is matching your title because sometimes you'll enter a partial title and it'll render it it'll generate this automatically wrong just remember put dashes between each word and keep all the words lowercase now let's get on to the actual formatting of your text now I have all these pre-formatted already but basically it works like a word processor if you've ever used Microsoft Word or anything like that you have your basic tools here you have your bold italic slash through then you have your uh, standard bulleted list and numeric list you have your block quote which actually will let you quote things it'll show them a little different I'm going to show you what they look like in a second left align right align uh, center align and right align and then you can create a link like a hyperlink to another website now then you have on the right hand side here uh, proofread writing which is a spell check and then what you should notice here and make sure this is enabled is your kitchen sink this button right here on the right hand side and they just call it the kitchen sink but it opens up all your other tools here now these are really important tools as well at least the ones on the left hand side here this will let you choose your heading heading text and your fonts here it's actually a good idea to use these instead of actually using a uh, uh, you know font type formatting because a lot of people get into the habit of using you know font tags and using HTML and stuff to change their font sizes and things like that really you should get in the head uh, the uh, habit of actually using these instead now then you can underline you can align full which will spread it over justified align basically and then you can change your font colors with the drop down here and choose whatever color you'd like and then there's paste in uh, as plain text or paste from Microsoft Word now that goes over the basic formatting thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you here is on the left hand side you can see I have a bold I have an italic I have something crossed out I have a bullet point a numeric point I used a block quote I have a left align a centered align and a right align I have an internet link to an external website. I have a this is heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five, heading six. And I have a special symbol here, which I didn't show you. It's right up here in your kitchen sink. You have the ability to insert a custom character. If you click this, it brings up a menu of items that you can actually use. It's kind of special symbols. Uh, whether you're speaking a foreign language or something like that, it's a good thing. Now, after you've actually done all these, I'm going to show you what happens if I go to the upper right-hand corner here and click Preview. And I'll show you what the formatting looks like. Now, all blogs, themes, make these look different depending upon what you're actually... Uh, how they actually make them look. Uh, so basically what you'll see here is how they're going to look when you actually upload them to your website. I mean when you actually put, pay, post your article. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now as you can see here this is the title. I don't really like that this theme kind of crunches the title up in this corner but that's how this theme does it. Um, I might want to consider choosing a different theme if I don't want it to do it that way. This is what bold text looks like. This is what italic and crossed out look like. This is what bullet points look like, numeric points, block quotes, as you can see, puts a little line next to it and indents it a little bit. Left align, center, and right align, they do what they're supposed to do. Internet link, this will open to another website. And here's what your headings look like. Yeah, heading, heading one is actually disappeared. Look at that. So we probably don't want to use heading one in this because what it'll do is it looks like it makes your text go away. So with this theme doesn't do a very good job with heading one. But we can see heading two through six do exactly what you would expect. They get smaller and smaller because they're less and less important. And then you have your special character down here. Now that's all there is to this video. I don't want it to make it go too long. But this is how you format text in your editor. Just go. It's like a basic WordPress, uh, a basic Microsoft Word editor. You can type up your blog here, uh, type out your article or something like that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add images, videos, audio, media, polls, like voting polls. And uh, you can also add custom forms, like where people can fill out 
that information and send it to you. But that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings and stay tuned. I'm going to go over these a little bit at a time because I don't want to, you know, use up too much of your time on these videos. Thanks again.